Hey everyone, Apollo here, and today I'm bringing you a video review of the Mad Bull Blackside Tracer Unit. Now, this is the Gemtech licensed tracer. This is not the flare kit, this is just the normal black tracer unit. I purchased this for $90 at Army Barracks of Salem, New Hampshire. You can get them online at, like, eVike. When you get the box, there will be this sticker on it, if I can get the camera to focus. And it will just have a list here of the different tracer units that they have, and then a sticker telling you which one is inside the box. It also has a list of the contents, which BBs you should use is also on here. Mad Bull suggests you use the green or the red Tracer BBs. When you open up the box, inside the Tracer is going to be wrapped in bubble wrap. I already took mine out. There's going to be a USB charging cable. And then there will be instructions. Now the instructions are written in English. It has diagrams to show you how to unscrew the tracer unit, take it apart, and put in the batteries, but I'll show you how to do that right now. Here's the tracer unit itself. As you can see, it says right on there, Gemtech Boise, Idaho. It's very nice finish, matte black finish. The lettering almost appears to be a titanium, almost silvery color to it. It's not white, it's not silver, it's not gray. It's uh, kind of a mix in between. Power switch. It's 14 millimeter negative thread, so 14 millimeter counterclockwise. You just unscrew the base here, and then out comes the innards. Now, I, it runs off of three AAA batteries. You can use regular AAAs, which I already have inserted, or you can put in rechargeable ones and recharge it using the USB cable right here. Now, it's very important that you do not charge this more than six hours. It says so in the instructions, which you should read. Um, it also says not to leave the batteries in the device when you're not using it for a long period of time. I'm going to tell you right now, right off the bat, the one thing that I noticed about this is the on and off switch right here sometimes tend to, tends to stick. Right now it's on, and when you go to shut it off, the unit will flash. cool feature about this is, I don't know about all you other airsofters out there, but I know me personally, it's kind of like an OCD thing. When you thread the suppressor onto the barrel, the words might not be right. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll use my SOCOM gear, MEU right now. thread the tracer unit on and say that the words and the trades aren't right side up. They're upside down if you were looking at it. It'd be like that. Well, they made it so you can remove the front of the tracer unit and swap it with the back so that way there if say instead of it stopping like this it stopped over here so the words were upside down, you can just switch it around and the trades would be right side up. Not really functional, but just for those of us who like our guns to look nice. I also purchased 
2,000 rounds of the Mad Bull 0.25 gram glow in the dark tracer BBs. And I'll just show you by dropping one in. I don't know if you'll be able to see the glow. But I will shut off the lights. Right now my TV is on, so there's still a little bit of light. You see the flash. Try to zoom in a little bit. Now, this does look pretty amazing at night. When you shoot it. Overall, I'd give this probably an 8 out of 10 stars. It's a little pricey. $90. But, out of all the tracer units that I've heard about, the ones that are mock suppressors are definitely the way to go. And after using this, I can tell you that I am very satisfied. It, like I said, the only issue that I've noticed so far is the on and off button likes to stick occasionally, but it's not that big of a deal. You can just unscrew it and remove the batteries. But uh, it's, it's very impressive. I like it a lot. If you have any questions or comments or anything, just uh, leave them in the message. Leave me a message or uh, leave it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Right.